Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss two important terminology. First one is the limiting angle of friction and next one is angle of repose. So let's see one by one these two different terminology briefly. Starting from the first limiting angle of friction. Consider that a body A of weight W is resting on a horizontal plane B as shown in figure. So I am going to draw the figure. Consider the body that is A of weight W is resting on a horizontal plane B. So this is the horizontal plane B. It is the fix on which the body A is resting. Here I have written body A of weight W. So you can say this is the CG of the body and so that you can say the weight W acting vertically downward from the CG of the body and so that you can consider the normal reaction that is always perpendicular to this contacting surface and that is by B on A. So you can say the normal reaction Rn that is exerted by the plane B on body A. If a horizontal force P is applied to the body, let's say it is in this direction, then you know that the force of friction or you can say simply frictional force will always opposite to the motion of the body. So you can understand the friction force will be in this direction. Now there is no any relative motion will take place until the applied force P is equal to the force of friction. If it is less than F, then there will be no any relative motion. The magnitude of this force of friction that is exactly equal to mu into W and you know that W is equal to Rn in equilibrium condition. So you can say mu into Rn where mu is the coefficient of friction Rn is the normal reaction. So I can write over here where Rn is the normal reaction. So you can mention in the figure also F is equal to mu Rn. Now in the limiting case that also we have discussed in the earlier video, when the motion just begins, the body will be in equilibrium under the action of the following three forces. First one, weight of the body W, next applied horizontal force P, you can say it is the applied effort also. And third one, that is the reaction between the body A and plane B, that is in this direction actually. So this is the reaction between the body A and plane B or you can say reactive force and that is always makes angle phi with this W. So you can consider if the body is in equilibrium, so you can say this is the reaction force R which will be required to be in equilibrium. So now you can understand this is the angle phi, so obviously this is also angle phi. Now from this figure you can understand the reaction R must be equal and opposite to this resultant force and that resultant force that is the resultant of this W and P and here you can see this inclination is phi so obviously this inclination must be phi. So this angle phi is known as limiting angle of friction. It may be defined as the angle which the resultant R makes with the normal reaction. So very simple. This limiting angle of friction that is actually the angle of the reaction with the normal reaction. So mathematically from this figure you can say if you consider this is as a triangle then tan phi that is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. 
so you can say opposite side that means the friction force f divided by normal reaction rn but you know that f is equal to mu rn so rn rn will be cancelled so finally it will be mu so here this phi is the angle of friction and mu is the coefficient of friction so i think it is very simple here phi that is the limiting angle of friction so this is very simple concept of the limiting angle of friction so only you have to remember this that limiting angle of friction is the angle between the reaction r and the normal reaction now second one angle of repose now look at this figure here the body is resting on this inclined plane initially now if you increase the angle of this inclined plane with the horizontal surface gradually then what happen see carefully here i am going to increase the angle of this inclined plane so that the body will move so this angle is called as actually angle of repose so this maximum angle is known as angle of repose so now i can define it the maximum angle of inclination of this plane at which the body tends to move in the downward direction due to its own weight w is known as angle of repose so it is very simple maximum angle of inclination of plane at which body tends to move that is known as angle of repose now consider this figure already we have discussed it here we have considered the plane surface that is in the horizontal condition now here the plane surface having some inclination alpha so consider that a body a of weight w here you can see that is resting on an inclined plane b as shown in this figure if the angle of inclination alpha of the plane to the horizontal surface is such that the body begins to move in the downward direction then the angle alpha is called as angle of repose so in this figure you can say when the body tends to move in the downward direction then the angle of this inclined plane with the horizontal surface is alpha and that is known as angle of repose so the maximum angle of inclination of the plane at which body tends to move in the downward direction due to its own weight w here you can see is known as angle of repose so here alpha is the angle of repose this will happen only when angle of inclination becomes equal to the limiting angle of friction so here phi is the limiting angle of friction if alpha becomes equal to phi then and then the body will tends to move in the downward direction and at that time you can say alpha is the angle of repose if you have any doubt then write in the comment box i will be back thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate